as a part of our presentation of Hindu shrines and temples in our Indian Pilgrim Tours Bharat Teeth Yatra YouTube channel, we present about Anpurneshwari Devi Temple. Shri Kshetra Horanadu is located in Hornadu on the banks of River Bhadra in a remote corner at a distance of 31 kilometers from Chikka Maglur Railway Station of Karnataka State surrounded with green lands of natural beauty of the Western Dhats. Annapurneshwari was established by Sage Agastya several centuries ago. Earlier the temple have a very small structure surrounded by full of natural vegetation and forest. The word Anpurna is mixing of two Telugu words. Anna means rice or food and Purna means perfect and complete. Anpurna means complete or perfect food. Ma Anpurneshwari is believed to be the incarnation of Ma Parvati, companion of Lord Shiva. As per legend Lord Shiva had an argument with his wife Parvati. Shiva argued that food and other things in the world are illusion things. Parvati desired to prove that food is not illusion thing and disappeared resulting in the nature to become still in the absence of food. The climate and plants were not changed and the plants were not grown, causing drought in the world. Ma Parvati showed pity on the world and appeared distributing food. In an argument about the superpower among them, Brahma felt triumphantly for having five heads, Pacha Mukha, and went to Kalash raising argument with Lord Shiva when Lord Vishnu convinced and agreed the supremacy of Lord Brahma. Shiva convinced that there will be no superior among them and all are equal in performing their acts and Brahma agreed to the argument. The four heads of Brahma agreed to the words of Shiva but the fifth head looks towards upwards felt that he is superior to the two gods. Shiva recognized the feelings of Brahma. He felt that the creation will become heavier. Shiva has cut the fifth head of Brahma with his trident and Brahma's skull got stuck in the hands of Lord Shiva. Lord Shiva was cursed that till the skull is not full of food or grains, it will stick in his hands. Shiva went everywhere and asked for food but the skull was never full. So he finally went to this temple and Ma Anpurna filled the skull with grains and reversed Shiva's curse. The hereditary priests started in this temple from 400 years ago. The family is serving and preserving the temple till now. The priests will play a vital role in renovation of the temple as well as in performing various kinds of worship here. The temple premise was small and unknown and it was rebuilt and modified subsequently. Ma Anpurneshwari was re-established in 1973 on the auspicious day of Aksha Tritya. Devi Anpurna is mentioned and appraised in various ancient scripts. Goddess Anapurneshwari appears in a standing pose on a pitha wearing G. Kronj, Chakra, Sri Chakra and Ma Gayatri in her four hands. Ma Anapurneshwari appear with gold cover from head to feet. Devotees believe that the darshan of Ma Anapurna will never suffer without food in their lives. Aksha Tritya is the main festival celebrated in this temple and believed to be the date of the emergence of Ma Anapurna. This day marks as the beginning of Tretha era change of seasons from winter to summer. Special festivals will be celebrated during the month of February. Navratri during September, Deepotsav and Havi with great devotion. There is temple accommodation in Bhadra Nivas with advance booking. Free meals or unprasada provided to the devotees in this temple. The temple kept open from morning 7 to evening 7. The temple is at a distance of 19 kilometers from the nearest railway station Chikmaglore. We request our viewers to subscribe our channel besides sharing to friends and relatives. Give support to our growth. Have a good day.